First down from Great Britain, we have Faye McDougall. Those are your quick finalists. Um, yeah, so what we're looking at, we can see the online observation here right now. Uh, the idea behind this is that there's um, there's not a lot of ways through it except to go through the crack. So uh, the climbers are going to be confronted with kind of these almost pretty nasty positions. Uh, they're going to have to finagle their way into this little crimp here. You can see on the left, a lot of great detail. Uh, and then this is the crack. This is the crack, exactly. Um, we called it the rocker blocker because you kind of have to get into like a little uh, finger lock. Yeah, finger lock here. You flip it, and then you go up to this block hold. What you can't see here is there's another block hold here. Uh, so just below the hold that you see above that area, you can actually you you actually don't have that slot anymore. Oh wow! And then you have to do a big big move up and right to this last hold. Uh, in a second, we're going to get uh, F1 uh, on your screen. So uh, this one. I mean, it's a place I like to call Tita Town, I think, like, <laughs> right? Uh, talk us through this one, Garrett. Yeah, T another great nickname for, <laughs> for this one. Uh, it's pretty minimal. You can see here there's not a lot of things. When they start to zoom out, you can see the, the bad angle of this hold. That's going to be really the main crux of this. That angle continues all the way up. And then you can see they look a lot bigger here on the screen, but you can see kind of reference size next to the T-nuts there. They're really not that big, oh, nor tiny. are they very high profile. So um, uh, you need some stiff shoes for these guys? Stiff shoes, and at the same time, you want some soft shoes to stand up on the back of that volume. So, in fact, a lot of foot strength required to stand up on these things, too. It's not just the, the stiffness of your shoe. Awesome. Um, so uh, this one was set by Kaylian. So uh, it's quite a big team you guys have had on this event? Yeah, we've had four of us here over on the, and myself included, over on the semis and finals. So the, or, excuse me, of uh, Route Setters that helped with the qualifying round. Well, you guys smashed it on the uh, the semi-final round, so <laughs> I'm, I'm pretty sure you will again. Well, I'm this one here, uh, we're on M2, right? And we've just been chatting. We don't think this problem, this movement, has ever been seen in a competition before. Is this is this correct? Uh, I don't quote me on this, but I don't think it's been seen. Okay. And remains to be seen. We'll uh, see what the competitors do. And I think that brings up a good point, too, which is like, it's not just about what we do. Yeah. It's about what the competitors how really they show. Yeah, yeah, and how they how they show their skill set. So that's that's really who we want to see. Um, F2, through the steepest section of the wall, right? Uh, burly, slopey, what's going on? Yeah, there's... Uh, maybe a couple of different ways to get through the start here where they could jump and use their momentum to catch a toe hook. They might jump and grab both of them. Uh, and then it's it's not really that cryptic, nor is it that tricky. Uh, you can see this holds blocked here. Uh, it's, again, making it look generous. Guys, uh, yeah, reading this one in a world of pain, I guess. Um, yeah, yeah, they're, they're going to be kind of tucked back into this corner. And the real exciting part of this one is how they manage their mobility. Yeah. So as you come out of that corner, you're really set up to face out and jump, which is totally Totally possible, but the easier method actually is to release your body and turn back around so that you can jump with your right hand. Oh, we'll get the graphic in a second, but essentially, uh, you know, uh, obvious start position, bust a move to a slope, and, and, and keep keep going. Yeah, similar thing here. Not not a lot of like trickery involved with this, uh, but a lot of leg strength, a lot of. Uh, contact strength as you paddle through this and, and a lot of what's important there is that their body trajectory is right as they go to these holds. So if they're coming out too early, if yeah. they don't have enough height, then they're not going to be able to power through those things. And it looks like a difficult finish as well to a, again, this one, you know, they've done a lot to get to this point and you guys are really finishing with, you know, something something really hard on the skin. Yeah, at this, at this point, you know, they've done a whole qualifier round. Some of them have done 30 boulders. Uh, yeah. Daiki, I think, in, in the case of Daiki, he, he had 30 boulders, but no falls. Yeah. Uh, so maybe he'll have a little bit easier time. But yeah, it does ask a lot of the skin. And as you go through the, the competition, there's there's a lot to be asked. So this is uh, just a, a sort of uh, one-two into a good hole? Yeah, but whether or not they have the stamina to go through this and, yeah. and make those decisions confidently is what we'll find out. Um, wow. You can see here, as they go through this section, They'll grab this small right hand. Uh, they're having to like push super hard on the back of the volume, uh, and then get higher up into this underclaim, that purple hold there. They'll have to get higher up into that in order to get up onto this volume, 
uh, and then they'll, they'll be put into a position where they grab the top of this volume here that you can see decent hold but you're kind of tucked up into this small ball and you have to like really explode out of it. Potential heartbreak hotel there. Yeah. Almost sense that we've felt those holes just before them so they probably wanted to get them in good shape but here we go. No yeah. messing around they've had their observation so they're in. Yeah and Jack's on the wall and I'm sure Faye will join him in a second. He's yeah. in that kind of ring finger lock nastiness and he's about to try and flip it. He's got the zone. He secured that on his first attempt. Really yeah. great effort and he's going to I think attempt to go straight up without flipping it he's kind of having a thing you can see him trying to work it Here out it on the wall attempts to flip it doesn't quite manage and now we're seeing Faye work her way up these holds are tiny I asked the setters what was going on here what is this all about and do change shoes they yeah. are totally allowed to do that well uh, uh, just to fill you in on where we're up to Jack um, this is his second attempt and on the first try he was straight up to the zone hold so hopefully he can figure out um, how, oh, cutting loose on that finger what? lock Safe. Amazing. Uh, Faye also um, making good progress, getting stood up on the volume again. Um, so she's just slipping off again. They cannot get back on. Yep. So if you were to pull on the wall with 30 seconds to go and it slip again, and you know you wouldn't be able to retry, yeah. maybe. Um, so yeah, there's a lot of learning involved and a lot of tactics, like we keep saying. Well, here he goes. He's up high again, and Faye also making good progress on the slab. Um, here we go, he's turned. He hasn't quite managed to turn it, he's going for it anyway. He reaches up and just, just misses it. Tiny little footholds that you can barely see on screen. Yeah, I think um, on her first try it was definitely her best go. Um, maybe she was more relaxed and confident pushing through the feet, but um, yeah, she's she's managing to get stood up, but then just and not managing to transition across. Aiden just firing off on his first go. Um, some really awkward um, start position. Jack seemed to make short work of it, but um, Aiden just struggling to get established in the finger lock. But um, Emma Rachel cruising through this lap. Yeah, both of these athletes were in the Plywood Master Final, another UK event just uh, last weekend. Aiden uh, taking wow. first place, I believe, and yeah, Emma in the final too, but just wobbling off the slab there. But Aiden is up now. He's heading for that zone. He secures the zone. That was impressive strength. Really good connection through his foot there. Yep. Can he make this flip? work he wants to turn his right hand from facing up towards facing an undercut he almost sticks it so there's so many different holds in this crack that you can see there on the top left corner of the screen and they're there just to force the climbers to be accurate and precise in doing that flip it doesn't look like a pleasant boulder I'm gonna put that out there it looks <laughs> yeah. unpleasant actually I asked Matt well how would you describe this and he said unpleasant yeah. <laughs> yeah. It's, uh, I think Matt's charging by the screw by the looks of it because there are hundreds <laughs> of holes in there uh, well, not hundreds, but there's several. I'd be holes. curious to know how many there are. There yeah. are so many in yeah. there. You are. Oh, I think that's a really tricky question. I always actually really enjoyed coming out when no one had done the boulder because it was like, oh, this is almost a free pass if you can do it. And if you don't, you're kind of on the same level playing field. Yeah. So all the athletes are sat on the edge of the mat now, so they can't turn and watch their fellow competitors, but they'll be getting a feel. They can see the crowd. They can hear what's going on. And also yeah. when the athletes come and sit back into that little isolation zone, if they're smiling or frowning, it's quite a big tell. Emma on the slab, secures that Amazing. zone. First athlete to do so in the women's. And then that little step Petering through. her feet. These holds are not great. So this is a fantastic effort from her. Needs to keep her cool. Transitioning across this final section. The last hold again is a very, very small pebble hold. She's in. And that's our great. first top of the yeah. final. A really, really great effort from Emma. And it's just proving a bit more difficult to flip the ring lock uh, with there's so many blocker holds involved in there. I wonder if they've just maybe added one too many or something. Aiden as well, he keeps looking down at his skin. He's really kind of seemingly concerned about the, the sweat on his on his fingertips. Um, he did a little slip then. And also, you know, the zone hold. So they're going up to this, this finger lock in the crack and then they're hitting the zone hold. And that, thing, that zone hold is terrible. And I think also with skin, if you're slipping off those first holds, Lucy got it wasting no time and really kind of getting involved on this. She gets on the wall before Yannick and he joins her now yeah. straight into that finger lock for Yannick. I think he's got his, his only style. his index, one finger index in there. There's not, a man who climbs in the Frankenjura. Not a two finger lock <laughs> at all, just a one finger index. Can he make the flip work? It looks like he has. He's stuck it. 
I think that's a really good strategy from him, using one finger, because it made it easier to switch. At the moment though, Charlie's setting up for that last hole. Can he stick it on his flash go? That was so impressive. Little one, one armor on. to finish to. Yeah, here today. that's some beef, is that what you're saying? <laughs> and and Yannick's going to go and sit in there. No beef at all, I'm sure. Just uh, No beef, yeah. I'm just going to win. <laughs> yeah, still a little bit of friendly competition, you know, yeah. as it always is. But yeah, a really experienced athlete. Whereas Lucy Garlic, we see here, just 17 years old. She's um, done some of the European comps and she's I believe done a couple or one or two World Cups but she's on the World Cup team for this year and she's made every single Youth World Champs final. Incredible. So every World Youth World Champs has entered, she's made the final so yeah, she is for sure one to watch. Just a little foot slip. The results that she's having. Yeah, great that she's gaining that experience and really stepping up and I think you're seeing the confidence even as she's walking around on the mats, reading the boulders. She seems like she's really stepped up so great to see her in this round for sure. Absolutely and you know she's she's putting in a good shift on this boulder and it, uh, she knows what to do she's just trying to execute it now so being very very slow precise. You can see her hips she threw her hips to the right there to weight the right foot more yeah. because of that foot slip previously so a major adjustment from her and really smart climbing. Crossing through now slightly different to Emma. Lucy's standing on her inside edge but making it work for her. Really smart climbing yeah. and also wearing a chalk bag chalking up which is again very smart. Can she make it work? She's got one go. minute left. No, just she's sort of <laughs> knew the mistake she'd made on the way down. That was really close. What happened is she didn't go enough. She yeah. went slightly undercut to the stand-up, which meant yeah. that she didn't get her weight over her foot. She didn't hit the hold accurately, but she's wasting no time. Drop back off and straight back on. It's interesting like uh, how, how long it's taken her to get to that point, but once she's done it once, boom, she's back up, she's stepping across. You build up that muscle also memory, right? doesn't have much choice because there's only 30 course, seconds but, left on the clock. But in terms of <laughs> executing that sequence, international athletes all around and uh, none more so well, than, straight on the yeah, wall. than Alex. You were talking earlier about uh, the success uh, Molly had, um, obviously coming back from that long injury and then um, doing so well in, in her uh, coming back onto the scene. Um, oh, wow, well, sorry, we've got we to gotta talk about Alex. That is impressive as well. Both him and Yannick, absolutely Alex is a prank endurer local, so you would expect nothing less on that pocket. Can you stick? competition between Yannick and Alex. That Marginal toe drag across this volume as he went through which maybe just slowed, slowed, slowed him down, down ever so slightly. Bit. Yeah, um, but certainly the two Frankinger or two German locals uh, really ramping up the training in this off-season for an Olympic ticket. If you're in the Olympic qualifier series you're the only ones left that can secure those tickets, yeah. you know, so this is it's, it's a, a really important year for our sport and um, yeah, these athletes have been fighting hard this off-season, you know, this is kind of the first run out for them. A lot of athletes qualified for the OQS, the Olympic Qualifier Series, but yeah, Alex Mangos is an Olympian and him and I, he and I were at the, the Tokyo Olympic Games, which is a pretty magical moment for our sport, the first Olympics. Yeah. But, um, yeah. I'm sure we can see some of these athletes that are in our finals tonight at the next Olympics in Paris this summer. Incredible. Can't believe it's come around so quick. But anyway, back to the athletes. We got Molly. Making Just progress. Clock running down now. Pretty sure this will be really her opportunity. She's got to take her time but also execute. 45 Ooh, seconds. She slips on oh. the left hand. She does get the zone. Yeah. Athletes have those holes in their repertoire, you know, and often the finals can expose that. And, you know, there's a boulder coming up later on that really might <laughs> expose some weaknesses for uh, climbers. Like, so. Yeah, it might expose uh, a lot of things. Yeah, I, I'm going to go with the disagreement and say I don't know if all of the climbers are capable of doing all of the climbs. And I, yes, they train to do that, but we've got athletes of many different calibers. And I, I, I do think most of the climbers can do most of the climb. Yeah, I, I do agree. Yeah. Somewhat, but yeah, it's uh, it's quite fascinating. I think uh, Holly, though, here, looking yeah. very comfortable. She made short work in the semi-final as well on uh, a lot of the climbs, so she's so good and confident on her on her feet. You don't get to be British champion without flashing slaps yeah, like that. Yeah, she is the current British champion. She won Plywood Masters. Poor that foothold was. And the, ha the handholds also are pretty marginal, so... He's also a World Cup finalist. Oh, Last year he made the finals at a World Cup, so... A, a movement, you know, uh, 
But these guys, they train on everything, so... Oh, did he? he didn't okay. even try yeah, the move, so he's going to try it again, Here though, so you yeah. maybe he heard you, but um, that... It's that left-hand uppercut, he's not, not getting much out of it. And you saw him just... Another separate little blocker as well. So, May, Budapest in June, looking for those Olympic spots very much capable of qualifying both of these athletes having a really good round in semi-finals both of them chopping every single boulder in semi-finals and both having great qualification rounds too and we say you know they topped all the boulders but they didn't just top them they absolutely cruised them they were mm -hmm. operating on what looked like a completely different level very very calm collected i mean judge here you can see is just cruising across this yeah, and, uh, I don't want to jinx us, so I'm not no. going to say. I'm going to wait and watch, but yeah, yeah. watching Jenny on the slab is Poetry. pretty magical. Poetry in motion right there. So let's uh, see how she gets on on this last move. Got plenty of time. What's really interesting to see on the men's side is as this, as the pe as we come out, the people coming out last are finding it harder. Maybe it's a conditions thing. It really might be a conditions thing. It's hard to say, you know. Lost that flow. I think that that's really impressive, but... Completing the rest of the boulder for sure. Just needs to find the established position. There we go. There it is. Yeah. Going for the single mono. See if he can flip it. He's Here we go. He's secured the zone. Yeah. Just got to flip it now. It's a little bit stuck in the slot. He's going for it from uh, top down. He's changed his Amazing. mind. He hasn't flipped. He's just gone up anyway, but now he's not in a good position. And he if can't he can get his make finger out. He needs to throw. I don't think he can do anything else other than try. Doesn't yeah. quite make it. Still a lot to play for. Three boulders still to come, and we're going to see the uh, brother and sister. We've had tops from Alex and Yannick. I think we might be out of sequence here. Yeah, apologies, folks. Um, obviously, these results. Okay, it's a handstand cartwheel boulder. They think they forced it, have they? We are about to see. Yeah. It looks like Jack's about to try and cheat it. Can he? Yeah, that's the question. The right foot is not great at all. So, so. he wants to step his left foot up, and then he's going to drop his right hand down, and then start pushing. And his sister Faye, just to his left, is fighting to get established on her second boulder as well. This is a jump up to the red start hold and you want to kick your toe hooks in to the one just below it. It's a hard place to be when you can't get established on a boulder in a final because all the eyes are overlooking at you. Jack though yes. is established. Let's see how well he can cartwheel. Yeah, this is it. Groundbreaking moment. The I am a big fan of the cartwheel. Yep. Leah Here we go. my coach for the Olympic Games, nice. she's a big fan too. She'll be watching this. He's doing it. He's in. We've got to get the climbing on screen. This is next level. We're in handstand territory. What so he's got to get across this is absolutely to the zone. Awesome. This is a boulder set by uh, Max Ayrton. Generate. Progress and generate yeah. move momentum on it. So yeah, she's pulled back on, her feet are in, she's got established, and she gets to fight her way up now. Yeah. Making short work of uh, that first move, but trying to like turn 180 to point uh, to get uh, her left hand more positive so she can release up with the right. Yeah, and I almost feel sorry for the women because I think all eyes are going to be on the men's climb here. <laughs> yeah. Great work from Max Ayrton actually forcing this yeah. and making it work. You can see he's really pushing through his shoulders. This bit it is. It's not easy, and I asked Max, is the top section of this climb hard? And he said, oh, that's where the climbing starts. <laughs> the cartwheel is yeah. just to get you to the actual boulder. Do you know, Jack's not got the zone yet, yeah. so he's not been awarded for all of this effort. <laughs> Neither has Faye. She's really fighting on this climb, and she's stuck the second hole. Here Big slip from her left hand, but can she get her foot up this time? Yeah. She's really fighting, and unfortunately drops there. Jack is back upside down. I was going to say back up on the wall, but he's back upside down on the wall. Yeah, and he, it, you know, he is learning on every oh, attempt because so he's getting closer and closer to it. I think he's uh, definitely got a I sequence in I wish we could mind. give them more time. <laughs> yeah, but they are running out. We've got 20 seconds left and he's pulling back on, going to try... going to try something different. Yeah, the palm. Oh, that looked like it might work. work. I think yeah. that would have worked. 
We're not allowed this in World Cups. Yeah. So maybe fast might make it even less safe, but yeah. I'm here for it, John. Yeah, you can't have competitors like plummeting onto their neck. <laughs> but back to the climbers <laughs> on screen, we've got Emma Rachel Edwards and Aidan Dunn. Emma, he, she's up, she's established, yeah. and she's into awesome. the meat of this climb. And this is a really physical boulder for the women. It is fighting the whole way up. She really needs to stay connected. Oh. Big slip from her. First foot chip for the men is really, really uh, vertical. So they're trying to force a right foot, left foot high. Um, but obviously that makes it very, very insecure and hard to pull on with these small handholds. So, yeah, it's a tricky one for Aiden. I've been there where you just can't get established and it is heartbreaking. Emma, meanwhile, is up and on the right hand side of your screen. Yeah, she is fighting. High. She's going to need to really battle through these last holes. They are not Here we go. very positive at all and unfortunately doesn't quite stick it. Yeah, I think Yannick will be. I'm not sure how I'll feel about the cartwheel. I don't actually know. I know. I think Magos might be loving it, but I'll, Yannick, I'm not so sure. But Lucy Garlic. Looking strong here, yeah. can she get into this small space? She's made it work for her, foot up, comes into match, and now she's heading up to the crux that here we've we seen. Really oh. narrow compression, and comes spinning off again. That left Yannick's hand on, firing yeah. off. Yeah, Yannick's on as well, making short work of this. Uh, really impressive. Spread nice and wide, distributing the weight evenly. That's, he's looking very casual through here. Incredible. He's looking casual, but his head's getting redder by the moment. <laughs> it really is, surely, yeah. And uh, here we go, the one-arm dangle. Is this it is a dangle if you're upside down, um, John? Yeah, okay, well, uh, yeah, the one-arm press. I'm not sure what we call it, but... <laughs> <laughs> it's a thing. He's doing stuff. It uh, is not over yet. He needs yeah. to keep tension with the feet in order to bring his hand around. It's, he's got his knee on, he's got his shin on, he's doing everything that he can. Oh my goodness, he's been upside down now for probably 30 probably seconds Probably too long. Yeah. But his hand, he's got his hand to the erect. He looks good here, his knee is on. He's bringing his second foot in. Alan. What are we seeing here, John? This is wild. Incredible. He has turned it, but he's still not got the zone. Oh, no! And the same for Lucy. We saw him do a one armor on the first bowl, yeah. John. You know, if you can That's do a one armor casually mid comp, like final round, I don't. Yeah. I, I don't think I feel you know like what is, but Lucy's back up and on your screen here. Now you can see big progress from her. Can she make this narrow compression work? She needs to squeeze real hard and not let her hands fire off. Ah, Left yeah. hand fires yet again. Yeah, that spin off. Really frustrating for them because they seem to be making consistent attempts to that point and then getting shut down by this move. So there's not many other options as well. Um, to consider on something like that. So maybe it's a small it body position It is quite a basic thing. boulder yeah. in the sense of movement, but I, in the sense of climbing and moves. All yeah. of that effort earlier for no reward. Yeah. Well, he rewarded the crowd. They loved it. Yeah, it'd be interesting to see um, if he can give it one more push, also, 30 seconds left. not struggling at all to get established and get up into this position, making those crimps up massive. Oh, Lucy, Lucy, she sticks it. the narrow compression. Can she top it? What an effort. Yeah. Well done, yes, Lucy. Match. Really, really impressive from Lucy. And the same wow. with Yannick, making his way through. The clock is ticking. Yannick needs to get moving here. Oh, he went too fast. Yeah. There'll be no stopping her. And same with Alex. You know, once he's yeah. up in this handstand, he flipping loves a handstand. Molly, little slip from her. She jumped up there. Yeah, not her favourite kind of style, this very first pull on. But yeah, I think once she's up, she'll be away. Um, Alex. Alex handstands a lot. He does a yeah. lot, a lot, a lot of handstands. Hand. So um, I think he'll really quite enjoy this. I think the pros call it hand balancing. That's the. Uh, the I've term never heard that before. Yeah, the balancers out there. Um, so uh, Alex making very, very quick work of that. Um, again, looking like he's got the time on here. He's feeling super confident. As you say, all the, all the stand but he's, training. And he's now in the full split and he's off the wall. I wonder if the root setters are starting to sweat a little bit now because, <laughs> you know, Jack got super close, Yannick got super close, and I think they might be expecting Alex to really enjoy this and find it relatively easy because he does a lot of handstand. The Olympic qualifier series, he's looking to be a double Olympian. You know, he knows how to perform under pressure and he knows how to kind of compose himself in that moment sure. so I think 
Yeah, I don't think it'll be weighing on him so much to cheat the boulder. Um, not struggling at all with pulling on and getting up into this position. The crowd want to see it, and you know, so do we. Yeah, I think um, he's definitely committing to this now. Obviously, we've only got 35 seconds left on the clock. Um, just coming out of the handstand again, and he's had enough. Here we go. Uh, quick step on. Straight into the palm. Really a solid Aiden palm Dunn there. really struggled with that move, so it's impressive to get, get oh, into it. Molly looking super strong in that pull on. We know that that's challenged some of our other climbers. Molly taking a few attempts just to get established, but Holly straight into the biceps and the squeeze there. Yeah, Holly uh, is looking on fire at the moment, as you say. Uh, absolutely dominating the recent competitions here in the UK. And um, she seems like she's got, it's just, I keep saying it, she seems like she's got time. Um, and absolutely smashing that last move. What a flash. Yeah. What a flash. She's happy with that. And Daiki just... He's fitting in that position so much better. Maybe being a little bit smaller helps get into this box. And he's coming out of it. Here we go. That's Has he gone incredible. too low though? He's bent his left arm. Can I'm he press it out? I'm, oh, he's bringing yes. his foot down. Amazing. Great to see. The crowd have got their hands in the, the head in their hands. Yeah. Everyone is watching with bated breath here. Oh. Oh. <laughs> very, very impressive. Managing to come out of that and get established in the bridge. And straight back up into there again with time to spare. Yeah. So it doesn't seem like he's getting tired. No time to waste here. Because as you said before, you haven't even got the zone at this point. There's still a bunch of climbing still to do on top. And the climbing up there we know is not easy. So I expect the Rutetas were hoping to get more athletes through this first section. Well, here we go. He's almost straight back in. Just needs to shuffle that right His leg down. His left hand is currently not on a handhold. He is yeah. just on the volume. <laughs> yeah. Uh, here we go. Trying a different sequence now. So this is the, the potential break, but yeah, come on, Daggy, this is it. Last possible attempt, really. The amount of time it takes to transition over. One minute left. Yeah, unfortunate that we've not seen many athletes kind of progress past this start sequence. Um, I do still think it's great for Max. Yeah. Uh, again, and he's, of he, course, Jenya, and the women. Yeah, he's renowned for a bit of funk, though, Max. So I'm sure he'll. Uh, I think it. She'll mm, make looking strong in that yeah. pull-on as well. Jenya just seeming to have found her groove this year and it's great to see. Yeah, yeah Jenya is cooking with gas. And Max is quick up into that handstand. Yeah. I guess really it's like cool climbing from both of these athletes. Incredible. Jenya just absolutely destroying that climb. Yeah, Jenya looking in cruise mode. And Phenomenal. Max too, that was pretty well for Max and it looks like we are going to see Here we go, Max our first Hill. full rotation, full 360 for Max there. Wow, great climbing from him. He just needs to get it. hold of that zone so he's yep, secured which it. Secured. Now he gets to start the climb according to Max Urgent, and so As you said, that second zone potentially going to be really, really important, um, especially after the disappointment of the first climb. But yeah, that uh, silver medal at a Boulder World Cup. He knows how to perform when it counts, and he looked like he was on another level in yeah. semi-finals. Not finding his groove on Boulder One here in the final, but really starting to step up yeah. on this second climb. Come on, Max. totally reset after that first Boulder, and now looking like he might be in with a shot if he can figure out how to get round onto this uh, next section. So he's got to teeter around this um, really slopey volume he's to get his He's feeling around. Hand. He's trying yeah. to find something. So he's looking for a screw hole there or something to help him turn this volume. He's got it's to commit. It's not over. And we've heard the commentator, a live commentator at the venue, saying just that you know the climb really does start now. It gets very physical very quickly. Yeah, here we go. He's really got to stand up and try and get all the weight on that left arm. There we go. He's turned, got to turn his feet round. Yes, Max. Oh, have that. Oh, he has a glint in his eye. And, you know, when Max gets that glint, he can be pretty dangerous. So He's got to move it'd be quick. great to see. But, wow, the clock is ticking down. Just yeah. 20 seconds coming up. I don't think it's enough time for a top. But I want Max to give it all right until the very end. Yeah, for sure. I think if he can get around here quickly, he knows what to do a bit better with his hand sequence, so he just needs to move quickly, confidently, and really drive up with the feet. There it is, Max. Come on. 
Big push, big push, big push. The clock starts beeping, it is ticking down. He's got yeah, too established, late. but it is too late, it's over. He's, to in the He's going anyway. Yes, Max. He wants to finish. <laughs> Come on, Max. Come on, Max. Do it anyway. It won't count. But Not can bother. he make it work? <laughs> the crowd are loving it, and so are we. He's fighting yes. for the match. It won't count. He's out of time. <laughs> <laughs> Milking the crowd. There's no trickery here, it's just jump and keep moving with your keep hands. Keep paddle, keep and swimming. You know, years ago, um, when we, were com we started yeah. competing, to say a basic paddle wouldn't be a thing, but yeah. these days, that's what that's what it is. And yeah. Jack, he's up and he's going. Yeah, Mr. Flexible, he is up. Uh, the same. Oh, Faye as so well. close from Jack, but Faye sticks it on her first attempt. Reaches yeah. out to the right, which I think that hold is there just to be a blocker. So she doesn't want to be holding that. But she yeah, made that go. correction and we see her now setting up for that last move. She's got to go for, with conviction. That was the knowledge from Garrett. Got to really good yeah. hey, moment. Toe hook maybe. No, looking, doesn't need it. Something. She brings oh, the second hand in, gets that match. I think that was a flash. Yeah, quite possibly. Here we go again. The DJ making things prettier. Yeah. It's Pretty a vibe. spicy in here. It's definitely a vibe. a vibe. Here we go, Jack. Come on. Your time to shine, my dude. Boom. Slam dunk. Oh, yeah. Looking. Our first competitor, Jack McDougall. Still five more guys to come out looking after. Looking comfortable in this pull-on, though. Like, yeah. looking happy in that space he's, there. He's flexy. It's uh, suiting his style, for sure. They've got to really go for it. Yes, Jack. Good work. Here we go. Crimp, crimp, crimp. Well, if there was any question about the That's zone, it. there isn't anymore because he is solid there. Come on, Jack. Come on, Jack. Oof. Looks meaty, this top section. Crimpy cluster. That sounds <laughs> delicious. <laughs> sounds like a breakfast cereal. Yeah. Ooh. Um, okay. Aiden, meanwhile, he is now on the wall and he's going to be looking for some redemption after yeah. the last boulder where he didn't manage to get established. He will see that or not. Meanwhile, Emma, Rachel is setting up for this paddle and doesn't quite stick it. Just showing how impressive that was for Faye to get that done so quickly. Yes. Aiden back on the wall now. Will he adjust or will he just commit more so to try and make this move work? It looks awkward all of a sudden and not having the flexibility like Jack to get his foot up, so unfortunately won't be able to make that slow method work, but Emma has stuck the paddle. Yeah, absolutely crushing this boulder now. Um, eyeing up the last hold, she's got to really go with conviction here. Long way to go to a not that good hold. Come on, stick with it. Big push. Ali, nice. Try and get some opposition to match, and there it is. Solid top. I'm like that where the yeah. match is quite tricky. Just got to get it done, haven't you? Um, Aiden, meanwhile, maybe he's just not quite found the the right position for his hands to enable him to get his foot up like Jack did. Jack was really I, flexible. I think it's a flex. I think, you know, he's super strong and it would be great to be able to get to see him on these next moves. So, yeah, I really want to see him stick this first move and it looks like he's going to try something a little different here. Maybe, maybe turning before he jumps. So he's turned that right hand really deliberately, allowing him to maybe potentially rotate a little bit more. Keeps thinking about that foot. Can he make it work? He manages to get it up. Doesn't look happy or comfortable in that position but can he jump out of it yeah and then not quite because he, cause he's just jumping out yeah unfortunately Aiden's not having the best round so far he's uh, you know getting an element of frustration coming out he's had a couple of climbs now where he's not as you say been able to to show his true strength and skills fingers crossed this guy we can get established no again it's a blind move to to a Ten slot. seconds on the clock and he's getting back on you've got to admire the effort yeah, for sure. It's a quick final. You've got to give it every second that's available. That actually was his closest go. <laughs> yeah. Sometimes the clock clicking down can really do that. They can yeah. kind of they remove, pressurize you. Just yeah. remove all the thoughts and not quite picking his way through them. Um, so 
sure Yannick super flexible. He had a good. Um, We've seen no wasting no time. Sorry to interrupt no, you, Joe. Straight up there. What a really impressive performance and a good round that she's having. Yeah, I think um, when we were chatting to the root setters, they said this was the one that they they expected to see a lot of tops on. Um, good execution from her of course they've had observations so uh, she knows exactly what to do just needs to execute and also she's sat right in front of the wall you know she'll have heard that this one's toppable for sure Yannick facing the other direction and making that jump look really casual because yeah. he was able to lean out uh, harder to get established we know it's more difficult I think when we see Yannick hit these crimps he's gonna feel really comfortable and he, he looks like it right now wow, brings his impressive. left hand up suddenly looking like he knows what to do here as he tic tac his way through these teeny tiny crimps moves towards the last hold it is blocked celebrates before the match that is yeah. an impressive performance from him third boulder and struggling with that jump there this, these aren't her favorite moves you know you can see she looked a little frustrated by that but I think we can see Molly do this climb she just really needs to give a good effort wow. Alex big jump from him he Amazing. didn't face out but it didn't matter taking a wild ride and straight up wasting no time to get to those crimps Alex another athlete who's really Really happy on a crimp. But Yannick went for a toe uh, instead of a heel and really drilled in that right toe, which when he released his left hand. No attempt at that, I'm sure. An important yeah. zone to secure there when Molly really eyeing up this boulder now, pulling back on. She's she wants some. this. Yeah. Needs to give it more room, get some more height and activate. Yeah, Molly's super strong. She has the capability to do this, but you can see she, she almost isn't attacking it. She isn't going as aggressively as she needs to. Wow. Alex has stuck this first move again. He's up in the crimps. What will he do this time? Will he change? He isn't changing. He's opting for a heel again. If he can make it work, it might help him out. But no, it pops again, which means that he's got no foot there. Um, yeah, interesting that he chose to do that twice. He did look very comfortable on those crimps. So, you know, Alex, my God, he's, he's definitely not weak by any standard. So no. the fact that he's struggling on those crimps just shows how terrible they are yeah just one arming it up the wall here we go come on Alex going for the toe this time see if he can make it work he's got to really tweak it in no I think even Alex might be getting gassed out now and Molly sticking the jump good work Molly she's got to go quick now uh, get this executed because she's a couple of attempts behind the rest of the field on this so see if she can stick the last move full commitment she looks required. a little bit flustered but she's yeah. definitely capable of doing this she just needs Good to keep work. her composure and she does come there on there it is nice so she's keeping pace good work molly potentially could have done it in fewer attempts yeah i really did believe she was capable of it and um i think it'll be hard for her to know that she could have done that in a fewer attempts yeah. but you know this comp is a really great learning going into the season and it's a very important season like we said meanwhile all eyes on Alex as he's yeah. on that crimp and just trying to get more. Looked like he wanted to campus. She knows she can execute this. Just needs to go for it. Here we go. Bosh. First attempt. Oh, big just slip there, it. but she saves it. Amazing work. Daiki getting on into the position, missing the hand. Here goes Holly. Come on, stick with it. Take your time. Be precise. Confident. Ali, nicely done. Super strong there. Yeah. Absolutely dominating so far. Really impressive. Match it up. There it is. Judges give. It's always difficult when you're making progress to change. In the corner of Doom. It's two boulders back to back. Heavy wrist workouts for the men. Shoulder, body, wrist, fingers, you name it. Ooh. Ooh, and maybe neck after that is quite interesting, but you know, it's all to play for. Every single round is a new game. Yeah, just resetting between boulders is so important, especially after something. Dikey. Here we go. One minute 20 left on the clock. Come on, Dikey. It'd be great to see him stick this move after so much effort. He isn't giving up. He's pushing and he's trying so hard and he's getting Oof. so very close. It's a jump, but it's blocked again. This is the a round of blockers. They have put kind of holes in the way to make sure that it's not that good. Yeah. When will the blocking end? <laughs> 
Peace oh. out. Oh. One more time down. No. <laughs> no, no, no. <laughs> He's going again. He's, He's a maniac. In. All the way to the buzzer. Fair play. Gets on with the bendy and flexi. Yeah, Max jumping straight on. Jenya opting to spend some time brushing and prepping the holds, but yeah, I think Max will be um, oh, his mood will be enhanced after that second border. This, yeah, this is the same method that Jack used to get his right foot up, just catching the hold. Amazing strength from him. Just catching it, but making it work. What can he do with these crimps ahead? Come on, Max. Get that foot in. Yep, the toes key. Time to see how much work he's been doing on the beast maker this off season. If can he, he can make get it work? This and he now. is looking strong. Come on, Max. Come on. Confident, Max. Yes, that's going to be. And same for Jenya. Absolutely smashing it. What Just... a fast rotation. Jenya is looking on really good form. Um, absolutely went under the radar as we were just concentrating on Max. It's all to play for still because it's all between Yannick and Max, I think. Who's going to blink uh, on this final boulder for the women? Yeah, the, Hopefully the pressure one. gets piled on. Hopefully one does, otherwise annoyingly it will go back to count back, which is never what we want. I also don't want to wish them to fall off, John. Come on now. No, but... but <laughs> <laughs> you know, but we need the split, Sean. Um, yeah, no, I know. On the screen, though, Jack McDougall and Bay McDougall, yeah. brother and sister, Very having a great time out there. Yes, they've had to fight hard, but it's been such a good round to see them both. Faye, only 16 years That's old, incredible. Jack only 18. Jack's on the podium here wow. last year. Here goes Faye. She's just got to get this right hand guppy on the next volume. Really good. And then in cruise mode, Faye yeah. looking here. Can she keep that going all the way to this finish? Jack, oh, Jack just missing pretty the wild jump. There. Come on, Faye. Here we go. No, she dropped off. But we don't think we will. Will we see someone stick it with the foot, maybe without matching or here matching without the foot? But that oh. was a one, two, three, four. It's a little better. And be really quick with that foot. But he's looking like he's starting to yeah. fatigue now. And, oh. you know, he's kind of swinging it around. And, you know, Emma as well having a really good competition. And we know when she feels like, she, it seems like when she feels like she's capable of doing a boulder, she's all over it. So, yeah, yeah deep if he wants to pull that out after such a tough round. But he's yeah. capable of doing it. Yeah, I think Emma's been climbing so consistently through this competition. She really slow, steady, precise. It's been a joy to watch her, really. But struggling here to find the right body position. And, you know, it's interesting when you see the first athlete come out and absolutely walk a bit. Like, yeah. they made such light work of that. It was almost easy, yeah. um, which is a little undercut. That is a handhold. Yeah, for sure. Great work from her here. wonder if she's going to try... Oh, no different sequence but that seems to be working fair play yeah she looks she like she might be able one? to make that work for her and she does yeah really good from her figuring out on the fly looking super strong like great endurance very very fit climber and now just eyeing up that final hold last climb of the event for her can we get a top there it is Awesome effort. Here we go. Aiden got a minute 20 left on the clock. There it is. Ah, oh, you saw him there try to go for the foot. Conditions, mentally. Oh, I know, yeah. John. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah, there we go. Oh, no right foot there from Aiden trying to stick it with just the match. He's had such a good competition, and unfortunately, the final's not been his friend tonight. Let's see if he can finish strong. Oh, oh. so oh, close. Unlucky, yeah. Aiden. Experience now in these kind of competitions, she's really feeling at home, I think. Um, really impressive to see her taking her time, just like really figuring things out in real time. It's impressive. Oh, Yannick. Absolutely Yannick floating. slow there. I think he needs to go a little faster um, in order to get all of the pieces of this movement connected, but he did look super strong, you have yeah. to admit. Same with Lucy. Absolutely crushing this one today. Yeah, definitely looking really strong here, Lucy. No mistakes so far. Just cool, calm, collected. Just, just got to give it a bit of oomph here on this final move. Come on, Lucy. Nicely done. And the match. Job's a good one. And Yannick. Oh, good few goes, but he was looking very, very good on this last attempt. So let's see how we go. 
There it is. Oh, there it is. Nice. Stuck the foot just to break the uh, momentum. And now, can he hold it together for the finish? There is some extreme German cheering going on for Yannick Ploé. Yeah. As he nears this last move, hits the pocket with one hand. Oh. Can he make the match? Yes, he can. Awesome. That's your fifth champion, I'm pretty sure. Yeah. Um, but he's really good at them when he gets into his groove. Here we go. Alex winding it up. Ooh, taking the ride on the one hand. And Molly, Molly pulling on as well for her final boulder of the quiff finals. Yeah, come on Molly. Yeah, again going with the palm just to transition through. Really smart. Yeah, I wonder if she maybe read that with Faye climbing it in a very similar style to what Faye did. Holly is one of their teammates as well, so I imagine she'll have read that with them too. Molly looking really cruisy right now. Yeah, really impressive. Uh, Molly and her element through the steep. Ooh, Alex oh. getting very close to hitting that foot, but just missing it a little low with the foot. Again, if he can move a bit faster, that would be good for him. Well Molly, done, meanwhile, Molly. a few attempts on other boulders, but meanwhile, Alex is on your oh. screen and taking a whip off that. He's really committing to that one, two, three, four. There it is. Just like that. Thanks, yep. Alex. Great. And then the pockets. He's a man who is strong on pockets. Come on, Alex. Oh. Oh. Commentators, because he looked a bit rushed there. Yeah. He yeah, Molly Thompson-Smith came out and crushed her boulder, so all eyes on Alex as he oh, executes wow, that perfectly. Was impressive. To be able to do that again yeah. so soon and after taking many attempts to learn it, but it matters now. No. He's losing the right hand. Will we see him having another go? It's a dry fire. It's true. <laughs> He's yeah. got terrible. <laughs> so Dougie straight in, giving it the old tap. One, two. Oof. Just Not one, two. Right. Dog for needs to move a little bit further back yeah. there. He's Almost got him. Zone. Holly taking her time, getting stuck in. He needs to stay composed on this. We know slips can happen, but we also yeah. know that this is a very toppable boulder. Wow. Holly struggling to get in the right position there, but making it work. Needs to not falter as she moves through these next moves. We yeah. haven't seen many falls on this climb from this point upwards. Yeah. Oh, but oh. slips can happen, and there they did, is. and I think she may have just yeah. potentially thrown away the... the well, we said it earlier, the didn't win, we? The win, but it was looking like it could have ended up being a tie, and that is an unfortunate slip from yeah. Holly. Very unexpected. We know she can keep it together when it counts, but she couldn't just then. Yeah, uh, it's always hard when you're under that kind of pressure where you feel like you've got to flash to keep pace. Uh, also, but worth mentioning that Daiki is, uh, he almost held the swing as well without doing the foot. Daiki which is looks absolutely battered. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Every single one of those counts of points. They've done a semi-finals round and they have done a very, sure. both these athletes have done a very physical um, finals as well. Yeah. This is the last one so they can give it their absolute all. But Daiki I looking like he's not got much left I think also, the uh, obviously being one of our international athletes, no idea exactly where he's phoning. Well, did he come in from Japan direct? I mean, maybe that's taken a bit of toll as well. Or uh, was he in Europe? But um, here goes Holly lining up the last attempt. The last hold on her attempt. Here we go. And for the match, good work, Holly. She'll be gutted with that slip, but... Uh, this round on a high. Here we go. Ali, Ali. Oh, no. Yeah, he's had a really good round. Be good to finish it. Oh. Come on, Nike, keep going. Just you can trying do to reel it. Because it. it's possible. It's such a hard place to be. Come on, my dude. Oh, no. Huge power screen. Huge draw. <laughs> gamba, gamba. No. He's going, He's going again. again. One more effort. Uh, Come yeah. on, Daiki. <laughs> <laughs> this is everything. Is. Giving it everything. Yeah. No. Oh. That could have been it on the buzzer. Amazing work from him. <laughs> Both Jenya looking calm, collected, composed, and fierce, and Max looking like he was ready for a good time. Yeah, Max always. Yeah. There it is. Giving it everything. That was in. It was. Can he stick this final? Come on, Max. Big flick. One hand. Oosh. Can we see the second? Incredible. Absolutely incredible from Max. He's going to be super frustrated about that second climb. Setting up. Can she stick this last hold? Amazing. Champ. That's it for the win. The quick Head champ. Back. Happy. She's your quick champion.
Amazing. Super impressive. Three tops from him. Uh, out in front by a whole boulder. I mean, had Max done the other climb? Really consistent. Looking at the women's, and yeah, this is wow. This is you amazing. know, like a really solid effort from both Jenya and Holly. In